Afternoon and welcome. Let's take a look at our top story that we are tracking for you. French President Emmanuel Macron held a national security meeting on the Israeli spyware Pegasus, which allegedly targeted Macron and his cabinet ministers. The French government said that Macron is following the issue closely and has taken it very seriously. Cybersecurity was among the key areas of focus during the meet. The French prosecutors have already opened a probe into the allegations that Macron uh, had uh, been spied with the Mor Moroccan intelligence services that may have targeted the country's leaders and journalists. Now, the prosecutors will examine 10 different charges that will be examined, including fraudulent access to personal electronic devices. Meanwhile, the Israeli cybersecurity firm NSO has denied that its controversial spyware tool Pegasus was used to target Macron. Now, this also with the statement comes as uh, the NSO group refused to reply to queries from journalists saying that it is being subjected to a media trial. In an interview with the uh, I-24 network, NSO Chief Compliance Officer Chaim Galfand has said, and I quote, we can specifically come out and say for sure that the president of France, Macron, was not a target. Now, earlier, Morocco's government denied reports that it used Pegasus software to spy on Macron. The Moroccan authorities also threatened to take legal action over these reports. Now, according to the reports, Macron was first targeted in 2017, around the same time that he visited Morocco's neighbor Algeria, which was a former French colony. Reports added that the Moroccan king was allegedly targeted along with heads of state. However, NSO Group has denied the allegations, saying that the list was false. The Israeli firm said that it did not sell the software to governments for the purpose of spying on dissidents. NSO's Pegasus is an invasive tool that can target phones, camera and microphone and access data. It can effectively turn a phone into a pocket spy. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.